I think I got this thing figured out. This ain't my first day. I promise. Murray. I point him out every time. Every time. What up, Yako? How we doing, homie? <laughs> it's definitely my first day. No. First day of my, like, seventh year doing this shit. Fuck, I don't even know how long I've been doing it. Alright. Let's go ahead and load our game. I don't remember which game was our game to load. Looks like we're right here, 329. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Do you remember where we were? No. Remind me kind a little. Of, but remind me a little? Okay. So the secret of Monkey Island was in a safe at the voodoo shop, and I was looking for the five golden keys that would open it. Well, I wasn't sure right. where LeChuck or Captain Madison were, but I was sure they were up to something. Elaine was on Scurvy Island, working on stuff for the Marley Foundation. Stan was in prison in an ice quarry. There was a lot to think about, but I was keeping my to-do list up to date, and the main thing was finding those golden keys. All right. We got a lot of everything. <laughs> I like, I like that guy. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Where do I find the mint groves? I've already got plenty of limes. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or... Oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. Uh, I really don't remember what the fuck we need to be doing. Elaine and I swim there sometimes. I got swept over the edge one time. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. Hey, Nibbler. Why are you gonna be so like Debbie Downer, Yako, bringing up the price of gas? Hey, it's that on my hands. Pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. Not everyone can list a staple remover among their cherished mementos. It obviously means something to Elaine, too. I don't remember why we needed that. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. <laughs> Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. All right, we got some bloaters. We got some firewood. Terra Ireland yet. Yeah, we talked to Elaine last time we were here. So we got the limes. She let us take from her limes. This place doesn't like visitors. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. Did that just move? I thought I saw it move. Scrutinizing the gasping natural pillars. I'll make a note of this. 
so I can remember it in my nightmares. Avoid those nasty thorns. Yeah, I'd better not get any closer. Ah, Papa Pichu! That hurts! I hope they're not poisonous. So we can't cut any thorns off? Yeah, we're gonna brave the Twisted Forest. Where the fuck are we? Okay, we're right here. To an unlucky place. Well, there's a key. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, Baxter? Did that just move? I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just keep telling myself that. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. It's always a mod party, Yako. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. All right, back to the creepy forest we go. Let's go to this slimy grotto. A moist patch of mushrooms. In all the worst places. Why are you redacting all your mushrooms. messages, dude? What are you fucking doing, man? You said mod party. Dude, it's on stream. Did it change on the stream? On the <laughs> you act like you just got here. You retracted all your messages. Hello. Hello. I want to know what it showed up on the stream. Does it show redacted? Like, like the, the one that's like on the screen, on the screen. That doesn't look like it's redacted. Is your name? Yeah, then we'll just redact it as well. We just we find we just find the redaction tool. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. It keep only it's over like here. a slow crashing wave of spores. Can we cut some mushrooms down or any of the icky overhang? No. It's like a slow crashing wave of spores. It's like a slow crashing wave of spores. Okay, I don't know anything to do there yet. What's really weird, Baxter? Yeah, it is kind of weird. So we didn't drop a like. <laughs> Sorry, I had something in my, my throat. I don't know, they don't count dislikes anymore, do they? Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around.
Hey, but I'll take a dislike. That's interaction, baby. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? This reminds me of the old 1980s Sierra game, Gold Rush. It's locked. You know what? We have a fucking key. It's not a skeleton key, but I did find it stuck in a skeleton's chest. I think the lock must be under that sign. It says XYZZY. -Y. I can't quite get it off of there. So we got the sign? XYZZY. -Y. Uh, let's try the key again. We're going to the dirt cave, y'all. Now, I don't think I can see the number of them either, yo. I just think it says that there's dislikes. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. We got a torch? <laughs> the pitch blackness and possible bottomless play. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Hmm. We do not have a torch. Why is the sign glowing? Look at that grizzly skeleton. Ugh. Looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Cooking <laughs> pot seems like a new. Not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Ooh, yeah, there's a lamp. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Okay, well, we got our lamp. That tree looks like it's fucking alive. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Right? It looks like a big ass fucking plant. Let's see what's in this cave. Oh, we went right to it. It's not lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. Yeah, we light it. Oh, man. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around.
Where would we light this bitch? I'll make a note of this, so I can remember it. Are you sure you weren't followed? Yeah, We're fire, safe. Fire. No ah. one is ever a hundred percent safe. Ah, what's that sound? Oh, it's just the waves. Where did you say they were keeping Stan again? The ice quarry on Bermuda. He'll <laughs> be there for years and years, and more years after that, thank goodness. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Yeah, Holler if you picture? find anything interesting. Can I have the picture? No, that would be weird. He's locked up. I admit it. I know Stan, so what of it? You can't prove anything. No comment. Paperwork, huh? I'm afraid so. Murray! Let's go to Bermuda. We got... Halt! We got limes now. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look! I have limes! See? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out Don't a weird, declaration form. Name? Really, Yaka? Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out and be completely honest. Have we been to Plague Island? Don't be weird with that guy's picture. Uh. Did you answer question two? You're carrying limes. Are you now or have you ever been a member of the pirate party? Sure. Did you ch check question four and not question six? No, I didn't do question four and I did question six. Okay. I will not answer 27 or 28. <laughs> 27 or 28. Do you have checked an odd number of questions? Do you have checked an even number of questions? <laughs> yeah, I will not answer. 27 or 28. Are you carrying large livestock? No. Are you carrying more than 10 items or less? Are you carrying more than 10 or less than 3 bananas? No. Did you not check number 7? No, I didn't check number 7. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Go for a scurvy dog. If you check nine, did you not check two? Have you not been to Bermuda during the winter? I have not. Can a woodchuck chuck wood? Sure. How much wood could a good woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Have you worn a disguise or used a pseudonym before? Yes, I have. Does the answer to 13 and 9 lie? <laughs> They're really trying to catch you on that livestock. What? Good call, Yako. We don't have any bananas. Are you not carrying limes? I am carrying limes. If you check question one, verify you checked question 29.
check this. <laughs> All right. Have you ever destroyed a priceless artifact and gotten away with it? Yeah. Thank you for it so. I don't have any bananas, Yako. I'm currently calling on a festival form. I think that's who I am. The North Star is in the South? I can verify your answer question two incorrectly. I'm not carrying any trivia cards. No, I am. Oh, hold on, there was one I thought was question two, but it was really an 11 because I'm an idiot. And they are prime. I'm not answering those. Check if you didn't check question 25. Don't check this if you didn't check question 29. Don't check this if you didn't check 29. So I did check 29, so I want to check it. We're definitely going to argue. Hi, Mr. Elaine Marley, just long as we're firm, but I've answered these questions truthfully. <clears throat> I think we're good. All right, let's see how you've done. Well, we have a problem right off the start. We don't allow pirates on Bermuda. I'm going to have to request that you leave these waters immediately. Does it help if I'm a mighty pirate? No. Back so soon, to proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Oh, here we go again. Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out and be completely honest. All right, so we're not a pirate. We are carrying lines. Did you answer question two? No. We're not a part of your party. Did you check question four and not six? And we don't answer 27 A. We're not carrying livestock. Did you not check seven? If you check nine, did you not check two? You didn't check nine. We haven't been in the water. The woodchucks can't chuck wood. We have warners of skies. 13 and 9 is not a lie. We're carrying limes. <laughs> if you check question 1, verify 29. Oh, if we check question 1, we didn't. Yeah, not, not okay. Uh, they are prime. We checked that I'm not going to answer that question, right? No, I am carrying limes. Good, good eye, Yako. That's why we keep you around, buddy. If you check question one, verify you check question 29. So we don't want to check 29 because we're not a pirate. All right. All right. Let's see how you've done. Hmm. Good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Okay. This looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. Hey, hey! Let's go see our buddy Stan.
a bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. Can we ask him? I'm staying far away from this. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. <laughs> Let's go find Stan. Is there anything special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. <sighs> What's that thing? Uh, nothing. What's that thing? Uh, nothing. Hi. I'm Any chance I can lure. get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? I'm an ice retailer investigating supply possibilities. I'm an ice retailer investigating supply possibilities. You'd have to take that up with the head office, which is not inside the quarry. The only people allowed inside are the prisoners. And also, I suppose, people visiting the prisoners, but no one ever does that. I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Of course Who are you here to see? Stan. Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms <laughs> or his lips. That does sound like him, but I'm supposed to see some actual physical <laughs> evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. <clears throat> I mean, that's a picture of him and my wife. Hey, that's prisoner Stan with the famous Governor Marley. I didn't know he was such a player. <laughs> I'd like to visit my close friend Stan. All right, so we're going to get a picture of like ourselves. I told you, I need to see some hard evidence that you've ever been within two feet of each other. That's totally what it is. Where do we get a picture of ourselves? Guy again, eh? Now there's someone I've got to meet. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach your bench, Your Honor? I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Innocent. Do you lack evidence all charges have been dropped? In the case of Guybrush v. Whale, the whale was found to be complicit. The case was dropped and the witness failed to show up over the poster forging. I never blew up that fort. No gunfighter residue was ever found. I was framed. In the case of Guybrush v. Whale, the whale was found to be complicit. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests! What did your honor do wrong to get disappointment? You have to fight your own robes. What did your honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court-appointed? 
Order, order in the court. If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court. <laughs> you wearing pants? Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order, order in the court. If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court. Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Ah. Judge Plank presiding. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Now there's someone I've got to meet. Okay, so he's gonna be in the cat, the little palace. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. Fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. It's slowly filling up with castle. <laughs> this entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire ready to be freezing. Ah. Throwing the water fire. Okay, it's lit. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. <laughs> I'm new in town. We don't want to tell him it's fire. I didn't quite catch that. Grunt. I see. Seen a good plays? Seen any good plays lately? Erg. Yeah, I feel you. Hey, Chris Martin. What up, yo? You have Queen Linus. Oh, most regal, high, authoritative, benevolent ruler person. <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three point, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Huh. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? Just <laughs> the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Your crown, as a matter of fact. I need your help to recover the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, I'm doing good, there are bro. There five golden keys. I'm vaguely aware of them. You can obviously see the one on my crown. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Well, we need that. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy pirates oh, put shit, their 17, paws bro. all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. So how does one become queen? Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. 
wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome okay. to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. I am, Chris. I am. Some more than others. Can I select a champion to compete for? Yeah, try about Assuming you don't mind that your champion becomes queen, and you yourself are still not allowed to touch the crown. Yeah, that second part sounds like a deal breaker. I challenge you to the contest of intelligence. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. Oh no, I don't play any of the sports games. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio. Another challenge. Dios mio. Welcome, your majesty, and Mr. Marley slash Threepwood to the contest of intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can. You know, can I don't have a favorite football team anymore. I used to be a St. Louis Rams fan, no but they've uh, no dipped papers, down on me. And no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. We have any way to cheat? No copying. Time's up. I'll take your papers. No oh, way. Garbage. Hmm. Hmm? No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood has written the words correct answer. <laughs> Queen Odina. Oh, I'm a Knicks super. fan in basketball. Better luck next time. I'm, I'm a I'm a '90s Knicks fan mostly when they were it's really good. Soon to be former queen. They fell off hardcore. They're they're getting all right. They, they're coming on good this year. All right, these guys are all just mumble. right ladies and gentlemen for your viewing pleasure we present for only the 11th time this week the contest of seriousness on this side the reigning queen Odina where are the hornets are they back in Charlotte? and on this side the challenger mr elaine marley aka guybrush threepwood currently unemployed and of no fixed address if you will all See, I don't even know where the Hornets are. The they begin. were the Charlotte Hornets, but the then they moved to New Orleans, right? To laugh but then New Orleans loser. became like the Bobcats, and Have then you heard they the gave one about the guy the who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? Hi, I'm working due east of the lake and due north of Driftwood Beach today. It's an IOU for funds for repairing the shipyard.
Yeah, I need a real marketing expert. Someone who could sell foot powder to fish. <laughs> what do you call a parrot with one leg? Why can't the ocean take off his boots? What's the difference between a swabby and a mop? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. See ya. Okay, here's the other contest room. We gotta go to the dark room. We got our lantern now. That was on the, what, scary island? Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. <laughs> As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is Lump Sucker. <laughs> Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. So we gotta go get some lump sucker fish. Trade in my fish for some other ones? Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Give me some of that lump sucker, yo. Lump sucker. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. I don't think he's doing fine. <laughs> Everything is free. <laughs> is it so fucking crying? Scorpions climb up the fucking wall. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Oh, fuck. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Their last summer night together was torrid, lurid, and whatever. <clears throat> the night was long, but insufficiently so, because morning came too soon. That's what she said. When he must set sail. What is torrid and lurid and whatever that symbol means? His major voyage quest near completion. Reginald's nose tasted blank. Spring coming once again upon the sea's breeze. Oh, for land to be whole again. Let's 
Spring sprung hard, the blank flowers yawned wide, the bees dove in. Knowing he must sail away next season on his major voyage quest, he tried and failed to keep it casual. Every ocean sunrise and moonrise remind me of you, those dual orbs dancing in the winter sky, he mused, pen in hand. I have a feeling this is direction is out of here. Those crisp fall nights at sea, the ship undulated, wet, rocking, and yet in the bunks below decks, no one was knocking. So do we go, well that's where that one is, so let's go left to right, so. Well that's the first one, right? D with a line in. Got no idea. All right, so we're looking for the the number two sideways. I have no clue which one that is. Okay, well it's not that one. Then we got that one.
I felt like we were onto something and then we didn't get the one we were looking for. Keys is safe. How do I, I need help getting one of the Bella Fisher's flags? How do I find Stan? How do I become queen? I need help with something on Terror Island. How do I get through the twisty patches? Y Z Z Y. Wow, neat! It's magic. Okay, so that's how we get out of there. Now, how do we solve it? You have five strange notes in your inventory. Each of the strange symbols together notes seem to tell a story. All the notes have strange symbols. Strange symbols. Okay, so let's just start over from scratch. Okay, so there's the D. Hey, I got it. The pit of agony lies ahead. That's promising. It looks really deep. Okay, here goes. All right, we got eight minutes. Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. I can only hold my breath for eight minutes. Hold my breath for eight minutes. Help. Help. This is the point where Elaine usually rescues me. It's too dark to see anything. I guess I'm really not I moving. I probably shouldn't be talking while holding my breath. I don't think we have anything. Does this work? It's the pirate's life for me. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Oh, so now we gotta go get it relit. That's a pain in the ass. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Mm -hmm. 
Sea Monkey 2. Everybody loves a sequel. Watch out below. This is certainly exciting. <laughs> hey, Murray. Anything on the horizon? Only your eventual ultimate obliteration. The Sea Monkey. My old ship was named after this plaque. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Okay, so that's interesting. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? It's technically illegal to do piracy without a flag. I'm not even more. Hmm. Well, we gotta go get the thing lit. Toasty. Okay, it's lit. We haven't found a picture of ourselves yet. Where would we find a picture of ourselves? Who would have a picture of us? Elaine would. Elaine's on Scurvy Island. Stan Stanman is a marketing advisor. He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. <sighs> you said a seagull carried away my half of the picture of us? Oh, there it we go. to the lime groves. So far, I haven't found it. Sorry. I'll go find Stan now. Thanks. I'm gonna say we gotta make some kind of trap. Oh, the seagull. an attitude adjustment. Just what it says, eh? All right, we can't get drunk. <gasps> oh, man, there is so much going on. Let's get one more hit tonight. Oh, 
No way. I don't want to lose my hand. I want to go before we quit tonight, which is very, very, very shortly. We've got lump sucker fish, so let's see what happens here. A challenge! Today's challenge fish is lump sucker. Wait a moment! The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever, and the contest cannot be held oh, we without fish. fish in there first. Everyone go home. Chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion. <laughs> and in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still yeah, in baby. possession of nearly all of his original team, the newcomer Guybrush Threepwood, aka Mr. Elaine Marley. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Mr. Threepwood, oh, we are waiting for you to place your fish. This looks like a good one, relatively speaking. And now, let the eating commence. Are you eating this shit raw? <laughs> Oh, tastes like grief. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, the winner and still champion, Queen Odina. <laughs> All right, well, our lamp is lit. We dropped off our fish. We know where our picture is. What are we gonna do to this fish or to that bird? Why don't we even have the picture of the other guy? Anyway, y'all, uh, that's all the time we got for tonight. Drop a like if you haven't already. Drop us over new. Chris, good to see ya. Yako. Nibbler, Baxter, appreciate all y'all. I'm out of here.